In this video, I'm going to uh, just do a few little modifications here um, in preparation for doing another uh, prototyping card. Go ahead and laser cut it, have a look at what I get, um, make a final decision about where I'm going with this, and then hopefully uh, go ahead and cut it, uh, laser cut it, and engrave it in acrylic, and then see how that looks. So, without further ado, here we go. Now, before I uh, do the final, oh, the, 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 another car prototype, should I say, I think what I want to do now is get rid of this black, sorry, this, this red hatched fill here. And I think I'm probably just going to put that to, to black. I'll leave it hatched, but what I don't want to do, um, I'm not going to bother now with having the hatching in here. I just want to have this outline. And I'm, and I'm going to leave that outline because it's going to provide me with the positioning so that when I place my picture in there, and I'll probably use some double-sided sticky pads to hold the picture in place um, onto the back sheet of acrylic, I can line it up perfectly. So that's my thinking there. Um, and otherwise, I think we're good. The way the laser cutter will cut this is... Um, it's going to ignore the black lines, but anything that's got a black fill, including these uh, these bitmaps I've imported and the thickness of the bones here, all of that is going to be uh, laser engraved. Um, unfortunately, it will also laser engrave as well, these dimension lines. So actually, what I'm going to do at this particular point, I'm going to move those paws over to the side. Um, and these dimension lines, these, these dimension lines here are going to be fine. Uh, because uh, they are all, the, 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 the black lines are ignored, but the numbers and the arrowheads will be engraved. Um, I'm trying to think of an easy way to do this. Yeah, so, uh, but these will be engraved because of the fact the arrowheads are on the drawing area. So I think what I'm going to do is delete those dimension lines there. And for completeness, what I will do is re-enter them over here. So I, you know, I want my engineering drawing to be complete. Um, and this the problem with this diameter dimension line here is that uh, it will partly engrave the, the O of the 130 and the arrowhead will be laser engraved. So I think in this particular case, just for this process, I'm going to have to uh, just delete that, which I don't like doing because I like the dimension lines being in place, but I can always bring it back later. Um, okay, so I think I'm good to go. I'm going to pause the video here uh, and go ahead and uh, laser cut this uh, and laser engrave this as a card prototype and we'll see what we get. Okay, so the uh, the prototype is finished laser cutting and I'm just going to bring the camera in here. So here it is. Take this out of the way. And um, There's the photo. So you can see that the paws have turned out rather nicely. Um, I feel as if, do I need to close it in here? Maybe I feel as if I do. I feel like I need to make it some even smaller paws, which I think I'm going to do in a second. But my other worry here is that the bones really have not come out very clearly. And I think that's because they're very, very fine, thin profiles in 2D design. And there's something else here that I've not mentioned. If I just come back to the uh, the, the other clock that I've made prior to this, um, the details here for the clock face have been laser engraved onto the, the lower piece of acrylic. Um, and then what I've done is I've used wax crayon to go over the engraved areas. So the wax crayon goes into the engraved points. Now, while I was doing that, I, I kept the protective piece of plastic on top of the acrylic so that um, I could then peel away that protective plastic once I'd finished filling all the engravings with wax crayon and the protective plastic would be in pristine condition and it worked very, very well. But what I had to do to make sure that I did a really nice, neat engraving was not only engrave as is the case here for these paws and bones, I also had to outline the engraving as well on the laser cutter. And that really made sure that I got a pristine finish um, for the wax crayon. And this is something that I wouldn't normally do. Uh, if I'm engraving onto acrylic, I, I just do the engraved fill. I don't do the outline. But because we have to break through the protective plastic and have a clean edge, in this case, because I'm going to use this wax crayon to add color, I will need 
to uh, to do an outline on these. So what I'm going to do is uh, step number one. I'm, I think I'm going to add in some more little, even smaller pores here on the outside. I'll do that quickly, pause the video and then come back. Um, and then I'm going to be looking at doing an outline on, on all these objects. So uh, let's just minimize this. Let's have a see. First of all, um, yep, I'm going to pause. I'm going to add some even smaller pores just around here um, by, by taking yet an even smaller pore print down here. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll look at doing the outline. Okay, so um, that should be, that's my pause added in. Um, yeah, I'm liking the look of that. We'll see how it turns out, but I'm feeling as if that's kind of given me a, a clearer border of little, little doggy paw prints, so that's really cool. Okay. Okay, I'm just pixel peeping now. That one there, I'm going to take it a little bit higher up. Oops, a daisy. And get the select tool. And sorry, I'm just tweaking it, aren't I? Should have done that when I had it paused. There we are, even better. I'm liking that even more. Okay, I feel as if there needs to be a bigger paw print there. Oh, I could do this too much. Okay, so let's just stop. Let's just run with it. Uh, okay, so where am I? Um, yeah, I need to look at doing an outline to these shapes. Now, these are all black, and the way that we have our laser cutter configured is we have black as, as quite a deep engrave. When I did the when I did the prototype here in card, I actually turned down the power of the beam, so that it would actually normally be a lot deeper than this. Um, but um, but when we are and the reason why we have it quite as a, as a strong beam is because if we're doing like a photo engraving then what 2D design does and what the laser cutter driver does is it takes that photograph it makes it grayscale and then the intensity of the grayscale determines or the the, the the level of blackness of the grayscale. I'm sure someone's going to criticize me for phrasing it like that. Um, that determines the power of the beam so pure black is full power and very mild gray is very light power. So that's why black fill engraves. But uh, what I'm going to do with this so that I can clearly see that there is an outline to these engraved paw prints and bones is I'm going to select them all and I'm going to change the fill color to be green which is a reasonably deep engrave, so we can engrave through the protective plastic into the actual acrylic. And then I'm going to do a red outline, um, which is going to give me this clean edge. Red's going to be sufficient strength of beam. Um, and I can also see, the because green and red are basically contrasting colors, I can see it standing out um, in the CAD file. So enough theory crafting, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to put a bounding box around all these shapes and notice when I do that it selects everything. So now I'm going to shift and deselect what I don't want. So hold down the shift key. I don't want that external square. I don't want those, uh, the, the, the center points identifying lines, and I don't want this circle. But everything else here, the bones and all the pores, I want to have the fill color here changed to the green down here at the bottom. These are the range of colors that the laser color, laser cutter follows. Uh, okay, and I'm going to change the line color here to be red. Okay. Um, now, out of interest, ah, ha, 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 that didn't work, and I'm so daft. Okay, of course that didn't work. I'm very, very silly. The reason why that didn't work is because these are all bitmaps. Uh, so they're always going to be black. So actually what I need to do is convert all these into vectors. Now let me see, can I, let me just do it with one. I'm going to select this, bitmap, vectorize bitmap, oh, I have to select it again, monochrome, confirm, custom settings, I'll do this again, don't worry about it, high resolution, confirm okay and just want to confirm what's happened here this is now yeah it's replaced the bitmap that was there now again if i just select a bunch of these and i come to fill again and make that green there aha and make the line color red aha there you go right now it worked fantastic so that's what i want so what i need to do here is convert all of these bitmaps into 
uh, into vectors. Now, can I do multiple ones at the same time? Let's just let's just try and select those paw prints there. If I go to, of course, now if I go to vectorize a bit, it deselects those. So what I've got to do here basically is for every single one. Now, look at what's happening here. This conversion resolution. Um, I, I normally go custom settings. I normally make it maximum because by having maximum custom conversion resolution, you get much better kind of contouring of, of curves, much higher resolution. But the difference in the pixel resolution is really quite small there. It's probably about 5%. So, you know what? Uh, for this, uh, hang on a second. Yeah, you see how it's just changed it slightly? I was going to suggest we do that. Let's just try that again, and this time, monochrome. Let's just do that custom resolution setting there. Yeah, it is actually better if I change it, isn't it? But that's going to take forever if I'm going to do every single one. So I've realized here that I have made a little bit of a mistake. What I should have done is I should have vectorized all these to begin with, and then brought across the vectorized images and of course by not doing that now I've got to do it for every single one manually so this is really really bad on my part yeah but uh, I'm gonna have to do it and I and, and again you know I would have ideally liked to have changed the resolution here to high every time but just for speed I'm not going to and of course I've got to remember which ones I've done so I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to experience the whole thing. But maybe what I should have done here is, uh, you know, I could delete all these, of course. I could go back, convert these into vector images, and then take them all across again. That's your choice to make. Anyway, here we go. I'll pause. I'll finish this process. Okay, so I think I'm there. I think I've got them all. There were one or two that didn't seem to convert across. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, select them all anyway and just see what happens. So I'm going to deselect here the the square, those lines, that circle, and the... Oh, and I've not done my bones yet. Okay, fair enough then. So I've got to do the bones still. But let's just go ahead and change the fill color to green and just see what we have. Ah, uh, yeah, that's looking great. So they've all converted across. I didn't do the bones. So you know what? Let's just do it now live. So here, uh, now in this particular case, monochrome, yeah, so there's no point again of going to custom settings. Let's convert that. Yeah, interestingly, uh, whereas with the pause, I felt as if doing a low res conversion made them less defined. Here, in terms of the bone, it certainly thickens the lineup. So I'm actually really, really liking that. So vectorize. Let's just monochrome. Okay, okay. Right, I'll keep on working this through. I'll pause for a second and then finish this off. Okay, so I think I've got all those converted now. So let's just uh, select everything again. I've still, I've got to put the red outline on all the on all the paws still. So I'll select everything. Deselect the square. Deselect the circle, and those lines that define the center. Okay, let's go fill again. Okay, and let's do a line. Now, look, I'm going to look at the fill there of those bones in a second. Let's go to line, a red outline. Okay, well, let's see what we have. This looks really nice. So all the pores, I've got a green fill, a red outline. And if I zoom in on the bones here, yeah, they've, it's got a green fill and a red, whoops, and a red outline there. That looks to me, whoops, I should have gone last there. That looks to me really, really good. Okay, so let's just zoom in a little bit closer again there. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead now and actually do the final uh, laser engraving on acrylic. It's going to be interesting to see how some of these pores come out because the pore, the individual kind of pores and then the pad here are very, very close together. Um, I think I'll do a card laser, a card prototype first actually, see how that looks, and then if everything's good, I'll go ahead and just do the engraving um, and then come back and show you what we've got. Okay, so <clears throat> I've finished the uh, the car prototype. I'm glad I did it uh, because if I just bring the camera in here, um, here it is. Compared to the other, 
so you can see that uh, the the green fill here has got much more beam strength that's just the way it's it's configured um, on, on our driver for for the laser cutter that's where the photo is going to go of Milu um, the, the the cutout of the of the red line has actually caused some of these pore prints to actually be punched all the way through and that's not a problem we can fix that later when we do it in acrylic but I felt as if some of these little tiny paw prints really were getting a little bit muddled just turning into blobs and you'll notice as well that I stopped the job part way through here it didn't outline all the paw prints because it was taking forever and I'm happy to go ahead and leave it doing the full job when we do it in acrylic but for this card prototype I wanted to sort of speed up the process so what I then did was I did a little test run over here. So what I've got on the on the left hand side here is a duplicate of the paw prints from my existing border. And then what I did here is I actually went uh, online and I got uh, a, a paw print. If you just compare that paw print against you know one of the paw prints over here, um, the paw the actual paws themselves are, are much more spread out on this paw print, which when I saw it online I didn't like. But then I realized that because we're going to shrink these down, we really need to make it so the paw print is perhaps like a, a more open design. The parts are further apart. Um, and and here I've gone ahead and done the full engrave and outline. And and even though it, it, when it's small, when it's reduced in size, the amount of cutting there has kind of caused the card just to burn away. I'm hoping that on the acrylic, that's going to look rather, ni rather much nicer or clear than the original graphic which had all the pore elements closer together. So I have decided crazily that what I'm going to do because I want this to be right is I'm going to delete all the pore prints here um, and I'm going to replace it with these updated pore prints with this selection here. And what I'm also going to do as well is rather than having all the pore prints facing up I'm going to have it so the pore prints are actually kind of walking around the clock like the dogs walking with with time. Um, we'll see how that looks. Um, you'll notice one of the bones has been finished. The, this is the first bone element I added. These other ones were later later uh, in terms of the order of things added to the um, to the CAD file and that's why they've not been engraved because it, it cuts and engraves in the order that things were added to the CAD file. So the bone's looking fine. So I'm going to stop this video at this point. The next one that I start, I'll basically have removed all of these paw prints and replaced them with this, what I consider to be an improve, improved paw print walking around the clock. And I think by that point, we'll be ready to go ahead and actually do the, the final version uh, in acrylic.